Cyclone Squad, what's up? This is your girl Talu. I hope you guys are doing fantastic. As for me, I am doing great. I am in a quick getaway vacation with my family, the very first vacation of the year. Hence the reason at the end of last week, I did not upload any video. But I did not want you guys to start the week and not hearing from me because I know you guys would miss me so much. So I've decided to upload a bathroom mountain video. I hope you will enjoy it. All right, so without further ado, let's get started with the video. Hey Glam Squad, what's up? This is yours and only yours, Dalu. As promised today, I am in my downstairs bathroom, aka powder room, and we're gonna be giving some life into this bathroom. Yes, ma'am. Let me show you guys what it looks like before we doll it up. This is it you guys, it's not a big bathroom at all, it has a full shower, it's a little bit narrow but cute. So yeah, I would love it if you keep watching so you can see the final look. Although I don't use this shower often, but I'm putting a plastic curtain in there just so I could show you guys the whole look, just in case if you choose to recreate this look in your bathroom. Okay, this is what I have so far, I have my plastic curtain. I have two shower curtains in there. Initially, I had only one shower curtain, but it was looking a little bit cheap because the shower curtains were only $6.99 from Home Goods, so they are cheap. So I have decided to put another one to make it a total of two. Now it's looking really full and more expensive. Now because of that, I have to use two different set of curtain hooks because I did not have a set that have 24. When I go back to home goods, I will pick up a set of the marble one. I have this glam curtain hooks that I got from Amazon that my husband installed for me earlier. I tried to do them by myself with common strip, it didn't work. So I had to go back and do them the traditional way. Meaning, I call the hobby. Thank you so much, love, for helping me out. This is what they look like. I have one on each side. I'm gonna go back with another set of curtains, but this time I'm gonna place them as close as possible to the ceiling. I place this curtain slightly outside the wall of the shower. Do you guys see that? And the other one is inside the shower. I am using a total of four panels just because these curtains are somewhat sheer. If I was using something thicker, I may have used two. I don't know. Now, these curtains are 96 inches long. They are not touching the ceiling, which you know I like. If I wanted them to touch the ceiling, they would have to be minimum 105 inches. Honestly, I kind of like it not touching the ceiling. What do you guys think? Let me take this opportunity to welcome all of you who are here for the first time. We are the Glam Squad family. I upload Glam Home Decor and DIY videos. Please take this opportunity to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss anything as soon as we upload. And to my existing Glam Squad, y'all know you're the best. I thank you so much for all of your love and your support. And yes, I'm giving a big thank you to all of you for giving this video a thumbs up and share it with all of your friends and your family. For the top of the toilet, I'm gonna start with this clear acrylic tray. This is a small drinking glass, we're gonna use that. With these beautiful fall flowers, which I got on sale from Michaels for $4.99, regular price were $10. This is a good time to go get some fall flowers, they are on sale everywhere. Then I'm gonna use this fall candle, it smells really really good. And it's pretty too. And for my third item, we know we like to group them in add numbers like one, three, five, seven. I'm gonna add my poopery spray. I have them in all of my bathrooms. I got them from Amazon. You need to have them not only in your bathroom, but in your purse. 
and you just pray a little bit before you do your thing. I was amazed when some of my friends told me they're not using them. What? You gotta be kidding me. Am I the only one who needs them badly? Or should I change my diet? Leave a comment below, let me know if you are using them. Of course, I put a glam wrap on the cap. Then I have this clock that I bought from Big Lads many, many years ago. It's a really beautiful clock. For my towel ball, I'm gonna start with this beautiful white towel. And of course, I'm gonna pull out my glam towels for you guys. I'm using two of them. To bring a little bit of color in the mix, I'm gonna be using these gray holiday ones. And I'm gonna place it just like that. I add this little ribbon slash bow to make it look more festive. The ribbon came with another pack of towel that I bought. On my last video, I did a bathroom haul. Many of the items in this video were featured on that haul, so please check it out to find out where I bought these things. A link for the haul will be below and at the end of this video. Also make sure the separation of the two towels doesn't show. On the vanity, I'm starting with this beautiful glam trays that I got from Burlington. And the acrylic soap and lotion dispenser. And some stylish paper towel. I got them from Amazon. They are a great one for guests. I like the silver gray design on them because the towels that I have here, they are only for show. We are not going to use them to wipe our hands. On the other side, I'm using this tall vase from Macy's Backstage. I bought it many years ago. I'm going to be using these beautiful off-white flowers. They are from Joanne. I bought them on clearance. Then I'm using another set of the pink flowers. And for my third item, my bathroom spray. For my wog, I'm gonna be using this small one because it's easy to clean, it's not difficult. And you know I have boys, so they be everywhere. So this, is, this one is perfect. Great color for fall. It goes with the flowers and the rest of the decor. For my garbage can, I'm going to be using this cute baby. And this is the toilet bowl cleaner. I love the acrylic which look like crystal on top of it. I love it. It's really pretty. This is a toilet paper holder. I got it from Amazon. Really cute. Of course, it has a little spot for me to put my phone. Don't judge me. Or you can put some baby wipes on top of it. On the cabinets, I replaced the knobs with these beautiful ones that I got from Home Goods. They make a big change on the cabinet. Now I have to tell you, this whole inspiration started with this beautiful wall art that I got from Burlington. It was on one of my recent haul. It has all the beautiful colors that I like. It goes really well with all of the accessories that I have chosen to put in the bathroom. Once I was done, I felt like I needed to place something on top of the shower. That was the only thing that I had at the house that I could think of. So I placed that. For some reason, I felt like it was empty. Guys, I like to spray on items more versus spraying on the air. I feel like the smell lasts longer. I sprayed on the flowers and the curtains as well. Light up the candle, we are done. Let's see how everything looks together. I like it when the curtains are down like that, but my husband likes it when the curtains are in the curtain hooks. What's your preference? The mirror is from TJ Maxx from four years ago, and the light fixtures from Lowe's.
yes you guys on the other side I have decided to add another clock I've never seen two clocks in one room before but I'm doing it because I like the look and it makes me happy walls are meant to be broken and they are the exact same clock who knows we may start a trend Now, if you have younger kids, I would definitely advise you to put the candle on the vanity instead. For some reason, my kids do not touch much. Thank God. Now I'm looking at the white curtains. They do need to be steamed a little bit. Please give this video a thumbs up and share it with all of your friends and your family. I thank you for spending your time with me today and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Be sure to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you can get notified once I upload a new video. I thank you for your time today and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. I love you so so much. Mwah! Glim Squad, what's up? This is Dalo. Finally, it is time to start refreshing the rooms. It was super cold the past couple of weeks in New York. Finally, it is getting warm. The sun is out. I am in my small bathroom, aka powder room. It is a full bath. I do not have a half bath in the house at all. Although I don't use this shower, earlier today, I removed the fabric shower curtain and put it in the washer. I'm gonna give it a good wash so the room can smell super fresh and clean. A few of you had advised me to add a bigger miroir in the bathroom. I replaced the small miroir with this DIY miroir. After you see the full picture, you can tell me how you like it. The link for this miroir will be in the description box. This tray used to be on top of the toilet, so I move it up to the side of the vanity just to change things up a little bit. I got it from Amazon, two for $25. One is in my guest bathroom and the other one is down here. I'm gonna be using my acrylic lotion and soap dispensers from Home Goods. This is a super cute tall vase that I got from Hobby Lobby. I'm gonna be using it. In there, I'm gonna have some full jasmine flowers from Amazon. Super, super beautiful. I truly love these flowers, you guys. You know, I love creating a little bit of drama with my flowers and they do just that. On the other side of the vanity, I'm using this beautiful tray that I got from Amazon. I love the acrylic part of it and the gold accent and the mirror. I think it's really nice. Then I added this pink candle. I think it's from HomeSense. 
My bathroom spray, it gives that luxury scent to the bathroom. And my poo poo spray. On top of the toilet, I'm gonna keep it simple this time. I'm only gonna add this one bouquet that I got from Home Goods. I bought this Glam Shower Curtain Hooks from TJ Maxx. They go really well with the curtain hooks that I have in the bathroom. This is a shower curtain, it's from Home Goods. I'm using two of them to get that full look. The regular panels are from Amazon. Right now I have two, I'm gonna go back and add two more because only two are looking a little bit cheap for my liking. The panels and the hooks are from Amazon. Where I used to have the clocks, I removed them since the mirror is big. I added this beautiful clear acrylic shelf that I got from Amazon. I really like it. I used the double sided tape that it came with to mount it on the wall. I'm gonna be adding this cute candle holder from Burlington, a little tea light, and this is the glass cover. My Glam Garbage Can is from Home Goods. And this is my toilet bowl cleaner from Home Goods. It's very nice and pretty. I really like it, but the little brush kept coming out when cleaning the toilet with it. It's a turn off for me, so I would not recommend it though. But it is undeniably very stylish. This is my toilet paper holder from Amazon. I changed the door handles. These are from Amazon. On the other side of the wall, I'm adding this wall art that I got from Home Goods as well. At the entrance of the bathroom, I have this wall. I don't think you guys have noticed it before. I added this beautiful leaf that I got from Burlington. Let's talk about the towels and we are done. This is how I display them this time. The towels are from TJ Maxx. I do have a video showing how I achieved this look. Please check it out. Links for all the videos that I mentioned will be in the description box. Of course, I use this little tie bag from Amazon to cover the elastic band. If you are new to the channel, once again, my name is Talu. Welcome to the Glam Squad family. I upload Glam Home Decor, cleaning, and DIY videos. Please hit your subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss anything as soon as I upload. Thanks to all of you, my beloved Glam Squad. I would love it if you follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Glam Style with Dalu.
guys if you like today's video be sure to give it a big thumbs up and share it with all of your friends and your family please leave a comment below and show me some love it was so good to be here with you today please hit your subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss anything as soon as i upload thank you for spending some time with me today i will see you on the next one love you always bye bye squad what's up this is your girl dalo we are on day nine of the vlog mass today i am with decorating my downstairs bathroom aka powder room but first we gotta put away the old stuff i love decorating this room because it doesn't take much for it to look cute do you have a room like that at your house please leave a comment below share with us I already cleaned and sanitized the bathroom. Yesterday, I uploaded a video showing how I was cleaning it. If you are interested, please check it out. It will be in the description box and at the end of this video. Guys, I am in love with the decor that was in this bathroom, especially the curtain. It is so cute. You will definitely see it again in the spring, but right now I need to bring a little bit of winter vibe to the bathroom. Please. Stick around to see the finished look. <coughs> These panels, you guys, so beautiful from Amazon. I cannot wait for you guys to see the close-up. They are blackout curtains, and I'm using two panels versus the four panels that I used the last time. 108 inches, they're gonna go all the way up to the ceiling and touching the floor. The curtain hooks are from Amazon. I really like them. Move on to the vanity. I'm going to be keeping my glim trays because they are perfect for this time of the year. I'm going to be using these for my soap and lotion dispenser, although I have to label them though so my kids can know which one is what. On the other side, I'll be using this tray with some glim napkin that I got from Amazon. Gorgeous vase is from HomeSense. I love it for $20. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I thought it looks cute with the bracelet on its neck. These flowers, you guys, they are from Hobby Lobby. They are so, so, so beautiful four dollars per branch starting with the top of the toilet i'm gonna be using this beautiful tray that i got from amazon it came in it is super cute and skinny and I love the mirror inside of it and it was two for $25, $12.99 each. The quality is really good as well. The next item I am going to use is this beautiful candle that I got from Z Gallery. It is gorgeous and smells so, so good. Look at it, it is so beautiful. I love the glam, very classy. I'm also gonna be using these ornaments. They are from 
home goods like i said this look is not a total holiday look but i'm definitely putting a little bit of the holiday spirit in it i'm gonna be using this soap or lotion dispenser as a vase i needed a vase that has a very small hole and this one fit the criteria i'm cleaning it because it was in the other bathroom with soap in it these winches you guys they are all over my house i use them in pretty much all of my decors i just love them they are so so easy to work with and they just make everything look spectacular they are from joanne I was about to forget for the container i'm gonna be using this napkin ring on top of it just to cover the hole and make it look a little bit fancier and more like a real vase no need to glue it down because it's not permanent it's just a temporary situation the napkin ring was a diy I'm gonna, I'm gonna do over here i faced a little challenge because the paint is spilled off a little bit i don't know how to paint and i don't have the color of the paint either and i know many of you have asked me about it i do not know the color because this one was painted four years ago and unfortunately we did not keep the color of the paint lesson learned so eventually i'm gonna have to paint the entire room but because I don't know how to paint, so I cannot fix this area because I always heard that if you try to paint one, uh, a small area in a room, you have to paint the entire area. So I do not want to mess it up further. And another thing, I do have to think about the kids in terms of design and where I place things. This is why I'm going to move this candle that was closer to the curtain to the other side just to make sure that we are on the safe side. Although the kids are good kids but you never know i do not feel comfortable leaving a candle so close to the curtain so this design will have to do for now for my towel i'm gonna be using this set of towel a hand towel and a face towel of course with a little bit of sparkle to all of my new friends welcome to the glam squad family i upload glam home decor and diy videos please hit your subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss anything as soon as i upload i thank all of my returning glam squad for coming back please like this video and share it with all of your friends and your family and I would love it if you follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Glam Style with Dalu. place this curtain tied bag that I got from Amazon right in the middle. There it is looking super cute. This cute work is from Burlington. It goes really well with the curtain tie bag. For trash can I'm using this Glam Miward one from home goods it was for 40 dollars i can do so much with it i can use it as a vase a planner a decorative piece piece by itself especially for people like us who move things to one often so it is a good one i also transferred the clock that was on the other side to this side now i have them one on top of another now we are done let's take a look Siempre he sido tu chiquita Cuántos te amos van ahorita Yo ya perdí la cuenta Quiero decirte que te amo Ya van segundos y te extraño Que 
dura sempre está com a sua vida Estrela só transforma a tabeira Porque se sente ser amiga Você também era mais Baby, eu vou cantar um mais Que dura sempre está com a sua vida Estrela só transforma a tabeira Porque se sente ser amiga Você também era mais Baby, eu vou cantar um mais Entre as bromas, eu lo sei Que te enamoraste e eu bebê Real não sou perfeita Amor que me injectas Não me deixas quieta Sou tu bebecita Espero ir a minhas páginas Donde não estão escritas Que eu adoro contigo Podemos pintar Donde estamos está Que nos vai encantar Que dure sempre esta casualidade Glim Squad, what do you think about the new decor in this bathroom? Please leave a comment, let me know what you think. Guys, I hope this bathroom has inspired you to create something magical in your house. If it does, please give it a big thumbs up and share it with all of your friends and your family. Please be sure to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss anything as soon as I upload. Please follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Glam Style with Dalu. I thank you for your time today and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. I love you so, so much. Bye-bye. Hey Glam Squad, what's up? This is Dalu. I hope all is well. Today I am in my downstairs bathroom, aka my powder room. I am going to show you the makeover that I did. Today's video is in collaboration with Ocean. They had sent me this beautiful LED mirror, you guys. It is gorgeous. I am super pumped about this mirror, you guys. I cannot wait to tell you all the wonderful features about it. Hanging the mirror on the wall was a breeze. It's just when hanging any other thing, as you can see, we have two nails on the wall and that was it. My electrician added an outlet for me right behind the mirror. But if you do not want to do that, it's not a problem at all. You can just plug it in in your existing outlet in the bathroom. And I would just add a flower or a decorative piece to block the cord. Later on, I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about the mirror. Don't go anywhere, stay tuned because you do not want to miss this. Meanwhile, let me tell you a little bit more about the makeover. After installing the mirror on the wall, I got so excited, I added a backsplash. This is a peel and stick style that I purchased from Amazon. It is super duper pretty, I love it. Then I replaced the old faucet with a new faucet, of course in gold, I also purchased that from Amazon. 
guys i'm dealing with this green thing from the old faucet i don't know what is it i don't know how to get rid of it everything i try nothing works out so far if you know what is it and how to get rid of it please put a comment below let me know i'm still debating what i'm going to do with the countertop i'm thinking of doing a diy but i'm not sure yet meanwhile i'm enjoying my new items and the transformation in the bathroom now it is time to decorate are you ready glam squad let's hit it <laughs> This song is dedicated to all of you who told me you dance while watching my videos. If you don't dance, this music is dedicated to you as well. Get up and start dancing and release some stress. With that said, if you are new to my channel, welcome to the Glam Squad family. Once again, my name is Talu. I upload Glam Home Decor and DIY videos. If you like what you see so far, please hit your subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss anything as soon as I upload. Big thank you to all of my returning Glam Squad. You know you're the best. I love you all. Please check me out on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at Glam Style with Dalu. The curtains is from Home Goods. I bought it a little while ago. It's not as long as I would like it to be, but it is a really, really good curtain. I do not want to throw away, so I'm going to use it. As you know, I always use two curtains, a regular curtain and a shower curtain. The shower curtain is from Burlington. It's the same one that I have been using. Because the shower is not in use, I keep the same one. Let's move on to the toilet. Of course, my beautiful niece, Miss Kiara, is going to be helping us today. The tray is from Burlington. And then we're going to add a glam candle from Bath and Body Works. It smells really, really good. A luxury spray yeah i know i like to double up on the scent and with a glim face from burlington we're gonna be putting some napkins on them for my guests to wipe their hands I switched my toilet paper holder for this gold one that I got from Amazon to match the fixtures in the bathroom. By the way, everything that I purchased from Amazon, link will be in the description box. Let me show you guys what I do with the toilet paper so they can look super cute and stylish. Move on to the countertop. I'm gonna be using a stand from Amazon. Next, we are adding soap and lotion dispenser from Home Goods. The gold pump I got them from Amazon. Pretty affordable. I will leave a link. In the other corner, I'm going to be adding some pink flowers from Hobby Lobby to bring a different shade of color to the bathroom and the glam vase to match the other vase on top of the toilet. This is from Bath and Body Works, super glam. Mm -hmm. 
the towel bar is from Amazon I am using only two bath towels but I set it up to make it look like I'm using more than two if you want to know how I fold the towels to achieve this look please check out my towel folding technique video link will be in the description box I'm giving it a quick steam to remove some of the wrinkles The wall art above the towel bar is from Home Goods. Last night, after I was done decorating, I was not happy with my floor, so I've decided to add this floor that I purchased from Wayfair. In front of the sink, I have this cute bath rug. No need for me to have additional rugs because, as I mentioned, I do not use the shower in this bathroom. For my trash can, I'm keeping this one from Home Goods. It goes with the um, lotion and soap dispenser we are done let's look at the finished product okay you guys let's talk about this mirror or should i call it the star of the room it is gorgeous honestly the video is not doing it justice it is touch screen i love that about it it has multiple light settings perfect to do makeup and my favorite thing about the mirror guys you know how after hot shower you cannot see yourself in the mirror because it is all foggy well this mirror eliminated that for you yes you guys it has the anti-fog feature all you have to do press the last button on the right before going to take a shower and you'll be good to go everybody who come to my house men or women fell in love with this mirror it is a great piece for your glam home. Do not hesitate to check it out. I'm not saying that because it is a collaboration. I would have said the same thing even if I used my money to purchase it. Link for the mirror is in the description box. A big, big thank you to Ocean for sending me this wonderful product. Yes, you guys, after all this dancing and steaming, I did not like the curtains. I returned back to my original curtains. These are from Amazon. My wonderful friends, please let me know what you think about my bathroom makeover. Which items did you like the most? The towel on the wall? The towel on the floor? Or the mirror? While you're at it, please share this video with someone. And make sure you hit your subscribe button so you can get notified once I upload a new video. Thanks for stopping by. I will see you on the next one. Love always. Bye-bye. Hey Glam Squad, what's up? This is Talu. Today we 
here in my downstairs bathroom. I'm going to decorate it for fall. I hope you are looking forward to seeing it. I would like to welcome all of you to the Glam Squad family. I upload Glam Home Decor in DIY videos. Please make sure you hit your subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so they can let you know once I upload a new video. Big thank you to all of you, my beloved Glam Squad. Please check me out on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at Glam Style with Dalu. Guys, I found these curtains at HomeSense. They are super, super beautiful. I thought they were perfect for fall. The brownish color and the gold. Really, really love it. And they were on clearance for only $18. However, they are only 84 inches. Normally, I like to have 96 inches or above on my, for my curtain panels. But this time, I have decided to take them home and make them work. So right now, I am unraveling the border to make them longer. Then I made some tiny holes on the curtains to put some curtain hooks. Now I'm going to iron it to remove the crease that's on the curtain. So that is pretty good. So as for me, I'm very satisfied and it looks really good. The holes are not even showing from far, so that's pretty good. I am thinking of changing this curtain hook for a gold one instead, but I don't know yet. Time will tell. I'm gonna let you guys enjoy watching me decorating. Stay tuned, I will tell you where all the new things came from.
I am done setting up the bathroom. Now let's see what everything looks like together. Okay, my beautiful friends, let me tell you what I have in here. On this side, I have a marble spread, a round marble spread that I purchased from Amazon. A candle that I purchased from Beth Bath and Beyond. It is the Vanilla Birch. It smells really, really good. I love the top, the design. I think it looks very glam and sophisticated. But of course, I add some more. This is a brooch from Totally Dazzle. Totally Dazzle have some really beautiful pieces to take your items to the next level. So feel free to check them out. I will leave that link in the description box. The pumpkin is from Home Sense, and you guys, my beautiful glam vase is also from Home Sense. I love this floor. They are from Joanne. Are they eucalyptus? I don't really know. Or oh, baby eucalyptus? If you know what they are, please leave a comment. Let me know down below because I have no idea what they are. I'm assuming they are eucalyptus, but I don't know. Okay, so let's go down. On the other side, I also have another spread. This one is a rectangular from Amazon as well. And these two containers, they are from Home Goods, y'all know that. And the pumps are from Amazon. I have three wash towels in there. This is a microfiber cloth. I added a little pine cone there. And this is from Beth Bath & Beyond as well. I know I'm gonna get the question. I'm gonna go ahead and answer it. The mirror is from a company called Hushen. It's a very beautiful mirror. I love it. I really think it takes the bathroom to the next level. It has so many different options. Let me quickly demonstrate to you guys what it has. You can just turn it on. It has so many different lighting options. And it has the anti-fog feature which I really like. Very beautiful, I receive a lot of compliments. I will leave the link in the description box. You guys can check it out. The towel is a peel and stick towel from Amazon. I know I said I was gonna upload a video showing you guys how I did it, but I never did. So if you guys want me to upload that video showing you how I installed the towel, please put a comment below, let me know. Otherwise, I'm going to move on with other project. So if you want me to upload a video showing you how I installed the towel, please tap up yes in the comment section. And also the gold faucet is from Amazon. Okay, let's go down on the top of the toilet. This is a wall art. I purchased it long time ago from Big Lads. It's really beautiful. I really, really like it. I love 
the wood frame. I think it adds an organic element to the bathroom, so I really, really like it. Okay, and I think it's beautiful as well. And down on the toilet, this tray is from Burlington, but they have similar one on Amazon. I will leave a link for you guys. This little pumpkin in the middle is from is from Target Dallas Pack. I purchased it last year. My beautiful copper and gold ombre. I think it is very very pretty. I really like it. Let me show you guys the other side. This is the name of the company. Okay, it looks very pretty and high end. I really like it. It is from how much did I pay for it? Still have the price in there. It's eight dollars. I got it from TJ Maxx. Gonna go back and turn it around again. Okay, we're fixing this coming. Okay, there you go. Okay, and over here, my cute little floor arrangement is one piece. I got it from Home Sense. My beautiful new friends. They are from Home Sense as well. I pay $18 for them on clearance. Yeah, I just saw how I work it out to make it work. Okay, so moving on, on the other side, I added this wall art that was in my living room. I take it out. I have something else in the living room now. Okay, I put it in here. I think it fits really nice with the design. You can see some of the brownish color in there that I have over there that goes with the rest of the design. Even if you see the little accent blue, teal color, that's in the other wall art. And moving down, my new towels, I really like them. I think they are very beautiful. I love the design and the style. They are from TJ Maxx. And my cotton tie bags, these are from Amazon. I think they are super pretty and goes really well with this season. My luxury work is from Home Sense. I really like it. It is not for everyday use, but it will do for now. I love the final look of this bathroom. I think it's really pretty. I'm trying to give you guys a full look of the bathroom together. Glim Squad, please hit your like button and share this video with a friend and a family member. If you have not subscribed, please do so right now and be sure to turn on your notification bell so you don't miss anything as soon as I upload. I am grateful you have spent some time with me today. I will see you on the next video. Love you always. Bye bye. Hey Glim Squad, what's up? This is your girl Dalu. I hope you guys are doing great and that you are enjoying your holiday season so far. In today's video, I am going to do an update, a refresh in my downstairs bathroom, aka my powder room. I am not going to do a fully complete holiday decor, but I am definitely going to add a little touch of the holiday season to it. I cannot wait to reveal the final look to you. Without further ado, let's get started. First, I'm gonna be changing the shower curtains and the shower rods. I bought these beautiful shower curtains from TJ Maxx. I had shown it to you in one of my recent haul. It was for $15. I purchased this two rod. I purchased these rods from Amazon. Of course, in gold to match the rest of the hardwares that I have in the bathroom. They are really nice, but I was not sure of what was happening with the end of them. I'm not sure if they are tarnishing or it's just an ombre, but I'm gonna keep them and see how they do. As you can see, I have it on both sides. I'm thinking it could be the design. They are tension rods. From Amazon, I also bought the shower curtain hooks. My hubby came to help me out a bit. Thank you so much, my love, for your help. Mm -hmm. 
This is an up close of the shower curtains. It is so beautiful. I love it. $16 well invested. I like it better versus buying the other ones for like four, six dollars. And it is perfect for the holiday season. Let me show you a little bit closer. These are all the shimmer and all the glitz. My husband just went in with the second curtain rod and with these beautiful curtains from Amazon. If you are here for the first time, welcome and welcome to the Glam Squad family. I upload Glam Home Decor and DIY videos. If you like Glam Home Decor videos, please hit your subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss anything as soon as I upload. Thank you to all of you, my Glam Squad, for coming back for your love and support. On top of the toilet, I'm going to be adding this glam vase. It's a big vase from Home Goods, I think, with winches from different places. Um, this one is from Michael's. The pearl one in the middle from Hobby Lobby. The gold winches from Michael's. And the champagne color in the back is from TJ Maxx. I'm gonna turn around and add my womb spray. I like to keep it around. This is the one that I am using from Home Goods. From the dollar store, I'm gonna be using two of their round mirror on the vanity. I bought these two holidays soap dispensers from Tuesday morning. I thought they were really cute and definitely fit the winter, the holidays season they came with soap in them already honestly both of them have soap i have no lotion right now on the countertop it's okay the kitchen is right there where i have lotion and i'm not expecting guests anytime soon on the other side of the vanity i'm gonna be using this tray from tuesday morning as well i thought it was really cute i love the acrylic accent i paid 15 dollars for it this is my diy bottle i made it last year so useful I love these bottles and they are super glam I'm gonna be using them as well you guys saw me using some of them in my kitchen I did three I have two above the kitchen cabinets and now I'm having one in the bathroom this flower is from Burlington this one from Z gallery and the other white one in the back is from Hobby Lobby I'm gonna be using a glam candle from home goods my hand paper towel from Amazon. This one says love. Very pretty and it brings a little bit of gold on that side. On my towel bar, I'm using this super large bath towel. I wanted to use two of them, but they were way too big. Only one does it. It is from Home Goods or TJ Maxx. I'm gonna be using these light gray towels from Home Goods with nice little design at the bottom. To bring some of the gold in the towel bar, I'm gonna be using two curtain tie bags from Amazon. In the shower tub area, I'm gonna be replacing the wall art with this one. I bought it from Burlington. It is very pretty, super glam. I'm gonna be using double sided tape to hang it on the wall. I bought the tape from Amazon. We are done. Let's see what everything looks like. I know my mom taught me that I figured why we fool around so little and we keep track of time being so serious idiots thinking it will matter keep me company downtown before the clock runs out sun is shining but the rain is welcome to friends are nearby don't need another view time is not on my mind but then it's you oh All things must pass But I'm not gonna wake up, wake up I'm not ready, let me have another day Don't wake up, wake up Keep it steady, cause I'm happy I'm not gonna wake up oh, no, no.
must pass but i'm not gonna wake up wake up i'm not ready let me have another day don't wake up wake up keep it steady cause i'm happy i'm not gonna wake up no, no, no. This war art, I got it from Jablat many many years ago. One of the tea light holder is broken. I replaced it by one from the Dollar Store. Eventually, I'm gonna use only those from the Dollar Tree. It's gonna look really really cute. Guys, please leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about my bathroom update. Did you have a favorite item? This wall art is from Home Goods. It blends really well with the rest of the decor. As always, everything that I purchased from Amazon, link will be in the description box, including the link for this mirror. Make sure you hit your subscribe button. I will see you on the next one. Love always. Bye-bye. Okay, you guys, this was the last video of the compilation. I hope you have enjoyed it. Just before I leave, I want to take a moment to give a big shout out to one of our fellow Glim Squad. She informed me she had COVID a couple of weeks ago and that she was in the hospital. My friend, we love you so, so much. We are praying for you. Guys, let's keep her in our prayer. We pray that you will have all the strength and the courage that you are going to need to go back to your activities and that you are going to have a speedy recovery. Okay, you guys, this was it. I will see you back in the house on Wednesday for a Valentine's Day decor. I love you all. Bye. Mwah.